Hey everyone, Paul Akers. I want to tell you about an epic journey that I've gone through over the last two and a half years. A lot of you know about my lean health journey. I went up Everest Base Camp. I lost a little bit of weight. I was in pretty good shape. I didn't want to lose the momentum there. I read a book called Eat, Sleep, Move by Tom Roth and it really changed my perspective on food. I, I began to change the way I, I ate. I quit opening packages, started focusing on fruits and vegetables 80%. And then what happened next was I lost a lot of weight and I finally figured out the magic formula. Instead of continually gaining weight throughout the course of my life, I started losing weight and I started to get in really excellent shape as you see me here today. Then what happened is 18 months ago, one of the most profound experiences transformed my life. I was in Kazakhstan. I was with the president of the BI group, Aiden. I was in the back of his car. We were driving out to a hunting lodge. He put his hand on my leg and he went like this. Pull, pull, iron mud. I knew the name, I didn't know the details, and I said, ah, what's Iron Man, Aiden? He goes, you can do it. It's swimming 2.4 miles. It's biking 112 miles, and then running a full marathon. I just started shaking, I was so afraid. I started shaking because I couldn't say no to this man. I knew the opportunity to be next to a man that was running a billion dollar company and that he had enough faith in me that I could actually do an Ironman. I couldn't say no to him. I couldn't shrink back from that opportunity, but I didn't want to do it because frankly, I was so afraid it was unbelievable. The next morning I woke up, I was in the hotel that I was at, it had a swimming pool and I began to swim. 18 months ago, I started training for an Ironman. Four weeks ago in Lake Placid, I finished my first Ironman. I was afraid to death the entire time. I spent 18 months basically in fear, wondering whether or not I could possibly do this. I was able to finish. Then I got the crazy idea that I would try to do another Ironman back to back only four weeks later in Vichy, France. Well, four days ago, I crossed the finish line in Vichy, France, an hour shorter time than I did in Lake Placid. I improved and really that's all I care about. I don't have to be the top athlete, I just need to improve. And I improved and I proved to myself that I could do this. I think the bottom line and here's the takeaway. I'm gonna show you a video of that journey and I'm gonna show you what it looked like in Lake Placid when I did that and I'm gonna show you what it looked like in Beachy, France. But the bottom line, it's all in your head. You have to be in good shape, don't get me wrong. I had to train or I probably couldn't have done it. But 90% of it is up here. You have no clue what is possible. But if you focus on doing the impossible and putting yourself into a little bit of pain, you will not believe the rewards that will come. I feel like a totally different person today. Having done two Ironmans, I would have never dreamt that in a million years. I could barely run five minutes on the treadmill, let alone run a 10 kilometer run, a marathon, worse yet, swim 2.4 miles, bike 112 miles in 92 degree heat, and then do a marathon on top of that. Impossible. Change your mind, change your thinking. Anything's possible. So what you're about ready to watch is basically how I accomplished an Ironman in Lake Placid in Beachy, France. I hope it inspires you, that's all I wanna do. I consider myself a very regular person. No athletic ability, there's nothing special about me, but I applied continuous improvement to the way I took care of my health, to the way I exercised, and I got myself ready to do one of the most daunting things ever, a full Ironman in Lake Placid in Beachy, France. So enjoy the video, hopefully it inspires you. You can do anything, don't limit yourself. Thanks a lot. So I got a call from Brad Carnes, my good friend. He said, Paul, I want to come to the Ironman and I want to film it for you. And I'm going, really, Brad? So he came all the way from Las Vegas just to film this. So everything you're seeing is what Brad put together to document that day. Well, I've just arrived here in beautiful Lake Placid. And in less than 15 hours, our good buddy Paul will be swimming in that. I'm reading the rules the night before. <laughs> I forgot to read the rules. So Aaron was just asking me about if I fix my duct tape with my Kaizen kit. So in my backpack, I have a Kaizen kit so I can make improvements on the road. And in the kit, I've got duct tape, I've got super glue, I've got Velcro, I've got needles, paper clips, binder clips. Rubber bands. Rubber bands. All these good, and I use them all the time. Every time I turn around, I open up the Kaizen kit. It says Kaizen on it. So it's race day, 4.30 in the morning, wake up, 5.30 down there. This is the course, the bike course, the run course, the swim course. Absolute insanity. Here I come. I can't believe I'm about ready to do this. I'm getting the right mental attitude. 
attitude here. Feel good. Feel really good. So it really was amazing what Brad was willing to do, to come all the way from Las Vegas to film this. What a sacrifice. The longest day you could ever imagine. These are all my transition bags. I go down there, I get those all placed. Uh, still, the sun is coming up. Everybody's going down. Leanne's with me. It's just a huge thing. But I've been preparing for 18 months, so I'm ready to go. And I want to get this show on the road. So as you can see, 5 o'clock in the morning, it's just packed. There's a lot of energy. You go out there. They write your number on your arm and your age on the back of your cap. I think that's in case you pass out so they have some clue how to treat you. But it was just a crazy experience. I can't even believe I'm here. So much training, so much time. And then for it all to come down to this early morning, the weather was perfect. We were so lucky. It was not really hot. It was very reasonable. Next step, we walk into the main area where we put our transition bags there, and Guy Boosie's there. He's just awesome. He's the one who got me to sign up for the Lake Placid one. He's just full of energy. He just rocks this thing and kills it. He's a super stud athlete. I'm a joke next to him, but it's okay. We still had a great time. We both finished, but he finished in record time. But wow, what an experience. So this is overlooking the transition area for all the bikes, over 2,000 bikes in there. And then this is where we put our special needs bag. So one loop around on the bike, you can come in and get some special food or anything else you need. And then you can do the same thing on the run when you make a loop around. So this is a special need bag and then we're going into our area and then down to the lake to begin the swim and get ready. Hey, Paul. You're down by the water, it's starting to get real. This is Lake Placid at 5 o'clock in the morning with 2,000 athletes just ready to jump in the water. Paul's going to do a little pre-game warm-up and then it's showtime. A little stretching and then a little bit of caffeine and some sugar. The first time I've had sugar in over 28 months. <laughs> you got to put Vaseline everywhere to make sure you don't shave. You gotta love that straight caffeine and sugar. Leanne gives me one last word of encouragement and then I walk into the athlete area. This is real. It's gonna happen any minute now. It's really hard to imagine the emotions that are going through when you're walking out there and realizing you've got to perform for a long time today and there is just a sea of people. Not to fail you as your video guy, but you're really, really hard to see. Only one thing that I can guarantee is that unless you're standing on this beach, you can never imagine the magnitude of this event, what it looks like to have 2,000 people all piling into the water, swimming their hearts out. And Brad, you did such a great job. I can't believe you captured that. You actually captured me getting in the water. Come on, who could pull that off? There you go. 2.4 miles in the water, an hour and 24 minutes. That is a long time in the open ocean, but there I go. This is the second time around the course. It's unbelievable that these athletes can even move their arms, let alone the daunting task of getting all the way around again. So my training for the Ironman was basically 1.2 miles every time I swam. It took me about 45 minutes whether I was in a pool or open ocean. We got out of the water and then they ripped the wetsuit off me. It's really cool. There I am laying down. They rip it off me. They help me up and I take my wetsuit and I run into town to get my bike and now I have to go 112 miles and after that a marathon. So after we ran into the transition area, I went and got my bike and changed. Really slow transition time, but I got the bike after about 18 minutes, got everything changed, got my head together. Guy comes racing by. He's way out in front of me by hours. And then I come through town and Brad gets a couple shots of me, which are really nice. And then the journey begins. And then Guy comes out of transition from the bike onto the run and he's just smoking it. He's doing a three hour and a three hour run. And I'm doing about a 550 run. <laughs> Much slower. People say I look good there. I was just putting it up yeah, for the camera baby. there. But guy is just killing it. It's just awesome. On, it's hurting right now. You're almost there. How you feeling? I'm doing it, man. Yeah, baby. You are an Iron Man. Everybody who's watching this video, this is why Paul Akers is Paul Akers.
because he puts his mind to something and he gets it done. No bullshit, no excuses. He's an Iron Man. Oh, you're an Iron Man, Ferndale, Washington. So no words could ever describe what I'm feeling right now. What a massive accomplishment behind anything I would have ever dreamed I could ever do athletically. I did it. I cannot believe it. And I'm so crazy that four weeks later I went to Vichy France and I signed up for another one and this time I cut my time by one hour. I'm addicted. I've already signed up for Frankfurt 2018. Brad and Philippe are going to be doing it with me. Maybe Morgan. Join us on this epic journey. Take the challenge. This is something you cannot miss in your lifetime. And yes, what is the goal for Frankfurt? It's not the podium. It's not to come in first. It's not to be best in my age group. It's to improve. Come join me on the Ironman journey.